Howdy, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to go and try to polish out some headlight lenses on my, one of my blazers. So here's the after. You can see in there, you can clearly see the bulbs. If you can see the bulbs clearly, then the bulbs can look out clearly. That's kind of my idea anyway. And here's the before. And you can just barely see the bulbs in there. There's one little sweet spot, and the rest of it is really cloudy. The camera really doesn't do justice to just how yellow and cloudy these are, but they are yellow and cloudy. So on this fine Christmas day, we're going to do a little polishing. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to cut these little tits off. Now, if you buy a kit to polish these, it's going to tell you in the kit, under no circumstances are you to cut those off. Those tabs, or those three little tits, are to align the uh, headlights with the the factory generous motors tool has an alignment tool that helps the uh, factory or the dealership align the headlights properly so once you cut them tabs off or them tits off you can't align the headlights with that tool but you can point them at the garage door at night and get out a tape measure and align them if you need to So those have been cut off. Now I'm going to just take a, a reasonably coarse file and I'm going to very gently just knock that down until I'm flush. And I'm really trying hard not to cut into the plastic around where those tits were. So I'm going to do all three of these and we'll be right back. Okay, so we got those cleaned up. I'm gonna take a piece of 600 grit, and this is about a two-thirds wore out piece of 600 grit. And I'm gonna clean and sand off any marks that are left over from filing. And I'm gonna sand off all of the yellow oxidized plastic. And that's uh, what makes your headlights go cloudy is actually oxidation of the plastic plus road grime, wax, things of that nature kind of build up on there, but it's mostly plastic oxidi oxide, uh, oxidis, damn it, plastic oxide, your plastic rots from the UV light, from oxygen, from ozone, from everything. But you want to kind of wet sand in both directions uh, I wouldn't use anything more aggressive than 600 grit. Uh, and it wouldn't hurt to go over this with 600,000 and then 2,000. But honestly, I've, I've had really good results with just using 600 grit. So I'm going to sand on this. I'm cutting in one direction and then I'm cutting in the other direction. There's a scratch right there I'm trying to get out. But that's the general idea. You just want to get rid of all the icky poo. And get rid of any scratches with the sandpaper. Okay, so our next step is we're going to use rubbing compound on this. And this is 3M, there's the part number, 059073, and this is compound A. And this is 3M, part number 059096, compound Bravo. So 
what this is, this is polishing compound for polishing out paint. And now this stuff is expensive, but these, I want to say this stuff's almost 50 bucks a quart. But this is like a lifetime supply for a try-it-yourselfer like me. Uh, so, I mean, you don't have to use it sparingly. But uh, the stuff is expensive, but, I mean, really, every man should have some polishing compound. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with A here. I'm going to squirt some on the glass. And I've got a polisher. Uh, I think this this head actually came in a polishing kit for headlights that I bought years ago. Uh, I just, when I'm done with it, I wash it out in water and then spin it dry and put it away. And it's lasted me a good long while. And this is just a cheap right angle drill from Hazard Fraught. Uh, now I've got a, you know, a regular car polisher buffer, uh, kind of like a, looks like a hand grinder. But that's a little bit too aggressive and just too big for a headlight. So I like this setup better, and it gives me a lot better control. Rat. <laughs> okay, get out of the road. Like I know it looks like barf. It looks like baby poop. <laughs> looks like barf from last night. Mm. Okay, I know that's... So I'm not an expert polishologist, but that's kind of how I do these. Now, I've got this clamped gently in my vise, back up. I've got it clamped gently in my vise, and I'm not applying a whole lot of pressure, not much more than just the weight of my hands in the drill. And you'll notice that I'm going across this way, and then across this way. Now, I'm not reversing the drill or anything fancy like that, but it is important not to just have one pattern, because you need to cut out the marks that you just made. You need to go this way, and then this way, and that cuts the marks out, kind of cancels it out with a crosshatch. So we're going to go over this about three times or four times, and then we're going to switch to the other compound. Okay, so here we are, uh, four or five passes with the alpha compound. Huh, got a ding there. Four or five passes with the alpha compound, and... Uh, there's a lot less haze to it. I mean, scratching it with sandpaper is obviously going to give a lot of haze to it. So, the A compound has taken out 95% of the haze. Now we're going to hit it with the B compound, and that'll take out the other 5% of the haze. And we'll mostly have clear glass. I mean, obviously there's a Fresnel lens here. So, we're, it's not going to be crystal clear. It's a Fresnel lens. But... There will be, you know, a lot less glare or uh, haze to it. That looks like concrete. It kind of does look like concrete. All right, so here we go. We've got her all polished out. And, of course, the camera's not picking this up, but I can clearly see the light bulbs down in there. Everything is looking really nice. Uh, now this can be done on the automobile. I've done one on the automobile before and it is really messy. You can probably see 
by the floor in front of the boys' britches, the front of my britches. And the chair. And the chair. This stuff goes everywhere. So you really need to be careful, like if you're going to try to do this on the automobile, put some plastic or an old sheet or something down to, to keep from making a mess. But anyway, come out pretty good. Certainly better... Than, than we started with. So these old headlights, you know, they're 20 some years old, 22 years old. They've lasted well, but it's just time for a polish on them. Now, if the seal ever breaks in these to where they're getting water in them, you're better off just to start from scratch, buy a new pair. But if they're still in pretty good shape and none of the clockwork back here is broken, the adjustment works, man, just polish them out, be done with it. This took us about a half an hour to do both headlights. Don't take too long to get them out of the automobile. So it's easy enough to do. Doesn't cost too much because you probably already got some polishing compound in your house. So with that, there ain't much left to say except for... Y'all drive safe and watch for deer. That's right. Drive safe and watch for deer cause, and get your headlights fixed where you can actually see them. <laughs> Y'all have a Merry Christmas and a good New Year. Mm-hmm. <laughs>